bring the cross up and then you spin three. That's the plan. Yeah, I did that. That's not the best. So it's it's best to do it on the stop and take it, take the cross up. I guess in some cases you can take the cross up. Oh, yeah, the screws. The screws, but this one just takes the whole thing. Yeah. 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 Blessed is our God, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. 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 Glory be to our God, glory to thee, in heaven and in the kingdom to come together, the spirit of truth, who are ever and ever and ever, thank you. Treasure of blessings and the giver of life, come and abide in us, and cleanse us from all the things they are doing, for good ones, and the things that are in us, 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 and Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, so cleanse us from sin, and not to pour down your precious holy members that can be on our hands and for your name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Give ear to my words, O Lord, and to the feet to my groaning, hearken to the sounds of my prayer, my King and my God. For to thee do I pray. O Lord, in the morning thou dost hear my voice, in the morning I prepare to have my for thee and watch. For thou art not a God of lights and wickedness, and so many have to hear me speak, the boastful may not stand before thy eyes, thou gavest all evil doers. Thou destroyest those who speak lies. O Lord, of voice of thirsty and deceitful men, when I have heard the abundance of thy mercy, will center thy house. I will worship for thy holy temple in the fear of thee. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, because of my enemies, make my way straight before me, thee, before me. For there is no truth in their mouth, their heart is destruction, their throat is of the sepulchre, they are flatter with their tongue. Make them bear their guilt, O God, let them fall by their own counsel. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against thee. So let all those take refuge in thee, rejoice, let them ever sing for joy, and devour well and them. Let those who love thy name may exult in thee. For thou hast blessed the righteous, O Lord, thou hast covered in his favor as with a shield. Why do the nations conspire and the people who plot in vain? The kings of the earth shut themselves in which the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and his anointed, saying, Let us burst their bonds asunder and cast their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs, O Lord, has them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hero. I will tell the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your heritage, and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron, 
international meetings at the Potter Castle. Now, therefore, please be wise and warn the rulers of the earth, serve the rulers of the earth, who trample you to feet, lest ye be angry and perish in the way, where the wrath is quickly revealed. Let's go with your breath and your hands. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me from the words of my groaning? O my God, I cry by day, but thou dost not answer, by night, but find no rest. Yet thou art holy, and someone on the faces of Israel, and thee our fathers trusted, they trusted, and thou hast delivered them. To thee they cried and were saved, and thee they trusted and were not disappointed. For thou am a worm and no man, scorned by men and despised by the people. All who see me mock at me and make mouth at me, they wag their heads. He committed his cause to the Lord, let him deliver him, let him rescue him, take blood from him. Yet thou art he looking from the womb, and thou hast been safe upon my mother's breast. Upon thee was I cast from my birth, and since my mother born, and thou said, My God, be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many bulls encompass me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a pot shirt, and my tongue cleaves to my jaws. Thou hast laid me in the dust of death. A dog surround about me, accompany me, who doors encircle me. They have pierced my hands and feet, I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me, they divide my garments among them, and for my raiment they cast lots. But thou, Lord, be not far off, O thou my help, take me to my aid. You deliver my soul from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Bring me from the mouth of the lion, my sister's soul from the horns of the wild oxen. I will tell thy name to my brethren, in the midst of the congregation I will praise thee. You who fear the Lord, praise him, all his sons of Jacob, glorify him, and stand in awe of him, all his sons of Israel. For he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, and he has not hidden faith from him, but he has heard when he cried to him. From thee comes my praise in the great congregation, my God, I will pay before those who fear me. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied, those who seek, the, seek him shall praise the Lord, and may your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, all the families of the nation shall worship before him, for the meaning belongs to the Lord, he rules over the nations. The age of him shall, be, shall all the proud of the earth bow down, before him shall bow all who go down to the dust. And he who cannot keep himself alive, posterity shall serve him. Men shall tell of the Lord to the coming generation, and proclaim his deliverance to the people yet unborn, that he is prophet. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
any one prisoner whom they wanted. And they had then a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas, or Jesus, who is called Christ? For Pilate knew that they had delivered Jesus up out of envy. Besides, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered much over him today in a dream. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the people to ask for Barabbas and to destroy Jesus. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus who is called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. And Pilate said, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this righteous man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then Pilate released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium, and they gathered the whole battalion before him, and they stripped him, and put a scarlet robe upon him, and plaiting a crown of thorns, they put it on his head, and they put a reed in his right hand, and kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spat upon him, and took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe, and put on his own clothes on him. And they led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, this man was compelled to carry the cross of Jesus. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink mingled with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his garments among them by casting lots, that what was spoken by the prophet might be fulfilled. They parted my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there, and over his head they put the charge against him which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down to us. So all the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him, saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. If he is the King of Israel, let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now, if he desires him. For he said, I am the Son of God. And the robbers who were crucified with him also reviled him in the same way. Now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, This man is calling Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with vinegar, and put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice, 
and he gave up his spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised, and coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion and those who were with him, keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were filled with fear, and they said, Truly, this was the Son of God. There were also many women there, looking on from afar, who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him, among whom were Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. God be bountiful unto us and bless us. Make the light of your countenance to shine upon us and be merciful to us. Amen. O Christ, the true light, who enlightens and sanctifies every man who comes into the world, let the light of your countenance shine upon us and make you merciful and unapproachable light. And guide our footsteps to light to the kingdom of thy commandments through the prayers of thy most holy mother and of all your saints. Amen. Come, let us. 
worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Contend the Lord with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and rise to my help. Draw the spear and javelin against my pursuers. Say to my soul, I am your deliverance. Let them be put to shame and dishonor and seek after my life. Let them be turned back and compounded to divide evil against me. Let them be like chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord driving them on. Let their way be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. For without cause they hid their net for me, without cause they dug a pit for my life. Let ruin come upon them unawares, and let the net which they did ensnare them. Let them fall therein to ruin. Then my soul shall rejoice in the Lord, exulting in his deliverance. All my bones shall say, O Lord, who is like thee? Thou who deliverest the weak from him who is too strong for him, the weak and the needy from him who despoils him. Malicious witnesses rise up, they ask me things that I know not. They requite me evil for good. My soul is forlorn. But I, when they were sick, I wore sackcloth. I afflicted myself with passion. I prayed with head bowed on my bosom, as though I grieved for my friend or my brother. And went about as one who laments his mother, bowed down in the morning. But at my stumblings they gathered in glee. They gathered together against me, crippled who I knew not, slandered me without ceasing, they anxiously mocked more and more, gnashing at me with their teeth. How long, O Lord, will thou look on, rescue me from their ravages, my life from the lions? Then I will thank thee in the great congregation, in the mighty throng I will praise thee. Let not those rejoice over me, who are wrongfully my foes, and let not those wink the eye, who hate me without cause, for they do not speak peace. But against those who are quiet in the land, they conceive words of deceit. They open wide their mouths against me. They say, Aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. Thou hast seen, O Lord, be not silent. O Lord, be not far from me. Bestir thyself and awake from my right, from my cause, my God, and my Lord. Vindicate me, O Lord, my God according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say to themselves, Aha, we have our heart's desire. Let them not say we have swallowed him up. Let them be put to shame and confusion altogether, who rejoice at my calamity. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor, who magnify themselves against me. Let those who desire my vindication shout for joy and be glad, and say evermore, Great is the Lord, who delights in the welfare of his servants. Then my tongue shall tell of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Be not silent, O God, of my praise, for wicked and deceitful mouths are opened against me, speaking against me with lying tongues. They beset me with words of hate and attack me without cause. In return for my love, they accuse me, even as I make prayer for them. So they reward me evil for good and hatred for my love. Appoint a wicked man against him. Let an accuser bring him to trial. When he is tried, let him come forth guilty. Let his prayer be counted as sin. May his days be few. May another seize his good. May his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. May his children wander about in bed. May they be driven out of the ruins they inhabit. May the creditor seize all that he has. May strangers plunder the fruits of his toil. Let there be none to extend kindness to him, nor any to pity his fatherless children. May his posterity be cut off. May his name be blotted out in the second generation. May the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually, and may his memory be cut off from the earth. For he did not remember to show kindness, but pursued the poor and needy, and the brokenhearted to their death. He loved to curse, let curses come on him. He did not like blessing, may it be far from him. He clothed himself with cursing as his coat. May it soak into his body like water, like oil into his bones. May it be like a garment which he wraps around him, like a belt with which he daily girds himself. May this be a reward of my accusers from the Lord, of those who speak evil against my life. But thou, O God, my Lord, deal on my behalf for thy name's sake, because thy steadfast love is good, deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is stricken within me. I am gone like a shadow at evening. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting. My body has become gaunt. I am an object of scorn to my accusers. When they see me, they wag their heads. Help me, O Lord, my God. Save me according to thy steadfast love. Let them know that this is thy hand. Thou, O Lord, has done it. Let them curse, but do thou bless. Let my assailants be put to shame. May thy servant be glad. May my accusers be clothed with this 
honor. May they be wrapped in their own shame and in a mantle. With my mouth, I will give great thanks to the Lord. I will praise him in the midst of the throng, for he stands at the right hand of the needy to save him from those who condemn him to death. <clears throat> Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy steadfast love. According to thy abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, <clears throat> and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done that which is in light, so that thou art justified in thy sentence and blameless in thy judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill me with joy and gladness. Let the bones which thou hast broken rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners will return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God, of my salvation and my tongue. Will sin aloud of thy deliverance, O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall forth thy praise. For thou hast, hast no delight in sacrifice, where I could give a burnt offering, I would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good to Zion in thy good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, then wilt thou delight in right sacrifices and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then gold will be also offered on thy altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages and ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
tongue of those who are taught, that I may know how to sustain with the word him that is weary. Morning by morning he wakens, he wakens my ear to hear as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward, I gave my back to the smitter, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I hid not my face from shame and spitting, for the Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been confounded. Therefore I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Behold, all of them will wear out like a garment. The moth will eat them up. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the voice of his servant? Who walks in darkness and has no light, yet trusts in the name of the Lord and relies upon his God? Behold, all you who kindle a fire, who set brands alight, walk by the light of your fire and by the brands which you have kindled. This you shall you have from my hand. You shall lie down in torment. Wisdom. The reading is from the Holy Apostle Paul to the Romans. Let us attend. While we were still weak, brethren, while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Why, one will hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps for a good man, one will bear even to die. But God shows his love for us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we are now justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his blood. That we may be counted worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Wisdom attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all.
those who pass by deride him, wagging their heads and saying, Aha, you who destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. So also the chief priests mock him to one another with a scribe, saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross, that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also reviled him. And when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. At the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, Behold, he is calling Elijah. And one ran, and filling a sponge full of vinegar, put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. And Jesus uttered a loud cry, and gave up the spirit. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood facing him saw that he thus cried out and gave up the spirit, he said, Truly this man was the Son of God. There were also women looking on from afar, among whom were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James the Younger, and of Joseph and Salome, who when he was in Galilee followed him and ministered to him. And also many other women who came up with him to Jerusalem. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious the answer than the seraphim. Without the time that you gave birth to God, the word, truth, they will trouble us and magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Father, Father bless. God be bound to bless us and bless us and show us the light of his countenance and be merciful unto us. Amen. O God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, and thou, O Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy upon me, a sinner, and according to thy divine government, save me, thy unworthy servant, that thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by thy name, and vindicate me by thy might. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For insolent men have risen against me, ruthless men seek my life. They do not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper, the Lord is the upholder of my life. You will requite my enemies with evil, and thy faithfulness put an end to them. With a free will offering, I will sacrifice to thee. I will give thanks to thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For thou hast delivered me from every trouble, and my eyes looked in triumph on my enemies. Deliver me, O Lord, from evil men, and preserve me from violent men, and plan evil things in their heart, and stir up force continually. They make their tongue sharp as the serpents, and under the lips as the poison of vipers. Guard me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked, preserve me from violent men, and plan to trip up my feet. Arrogant men have hidden a trap for me, and with the force they have spread a net. By the wayside they set their snares for me. I say to the Lord, guard my God, give ear to the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O Lord, my Lord, my strong deliverer, thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked, do not further the evil plot. Those who surround me lift up their heads, let the mischief of their lips overwhelm them. Let burning coals fall upon them, let them be cast into the pits and to rise. Let not the slander be established in the land. Let the evil hunt down the violent man speedily. I know that the Lord maintains the cause of the afflicted and executes justice for the needy. Surely the righteous shall give thanks to my name, and the upright shall dwell in my presence. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High, who abides in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God and my trust. And he will deliver you from the snare of the power, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his minions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes in noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the most high your habitation, no evil shall be you, and no scourge come near your tent. For he will give his angels charge of you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder and the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he pleased to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
Glory 
criminals were led away to be put to death with Jesus. And when they came to the place which is called the Skull, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right and one on the left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments. And the people who stood by watching and the rulers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Christ, the chosen of God. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him vinegar and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals were hanged, railed at him, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God? Since you are under the same sentence of condemnation, and we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. And he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. While the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he gave up the spirit. Now when the centurion saw what had taken place, he glorified God and said, Certainly this was a righteous man. And all the multitudes who assembled to see the sight, when they saw what had taken place, returned beating their breasts. And all his acquaintances and the women who had followed him from Galilee stood at a distance and saw these things. Deliver us. 
us from all tribulations, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that guide and guard and guide their host. We may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed and new angels and ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. For thou the Son, which he gave birth to God, the Word, truth, therefore closely magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God be bountiful unto us and bless us and show us the light of his countenance and be merciful unto us. Amen. The God the Lord of hosts and bow, the God the Lord of hosts and author of all creation, who in thy boundless tenderness mercy has sent down thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of the human race, and through his holy cross has torn out the handwriting of our sins, and thereby torn it through the principalities, principalities and dominions and darkness. To who love us, mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication, even from us sinners. Deliver us from every deadly and dark transgression and from all the visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail our flesh with the fear of the end and let our hearts and find evil words our thoughts. So wound our souls with thy love, let every day thing upon thee guided by thy life, and behold in thee the eternal life that no man can approach. We may send up unceasing praises and thanks to thee, the Father without giving each together with thy only begotten Son. From thy most holy and life, be the Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. They sink in deep mire where there is no foothold. They come into the deep waters. The blood sweeps over me. I'm weary with my crying. My throat is parched, my eyes grow dim with waiting for my God. More in number than the hairs of my head are those who hate me without cause. My ear are those who would destroy me, those who attack me with lies. What I did not steal must I now restore. O God, thou knowest my folly. The wrongs I have done are not hidden from thee. Let not those who hope in thee be put to shame through me, O Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek thee be brought to dishonor through me, O God of Israel. For it is for thy sake that I have borne reproach, that shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brethren, an alien to my mother's sons. For zeal for thy house has consumed me, and the insults of those who insult me have fallen on me. When I humbled my soul with fasting, it became a, my reproach. When I made sackcloth my clothing, I became a byword to them. I am the talk of those who sit in the gate. Drunkards make songs about me. But as for me, my prayer is to thee, O Lord, at an acceptable time, O God. In the abundance of thy steadfast love, answer me. If thy faithful help rescue me from sinking in the mire, let me be delivered from my enemies from the deep waters. Let not the flood sweep over me, or the deep swallow me up, or the pit close its mouth over me. Answer me, O Lord, for thy steadfast love is good. According to thy abundant mercy, turn to me. Hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in distress. Make haste to answer me. Draw near to me, redeem me, set me free because of my enemies. Thou knowest my reproach, my shame, my dishonor, my foes are all known to thee. Insults have broken my heart, so that I am in despair. I looked for pity, but there was none, for comforters, but I found none. They gave me poison for food, for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their own table before them become a snare. Let their sacrificial feast be a trap. Let their eyes be darkened so that they cannot see. Make their loins tremble continually. Pour out thy indignation upon them. Let thy burning anger overtake them. May their camp be a desolation, let no one dwell in their tents. For they persecute him whom thou hast smitten, him whom thou hast wounded, they afflict still more. Add to them punishment upon punishment. May they have no acquittal from thee. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living. Let them not be enrolled among the righteous, for I am afflicted and in pain. Let thy salvation, O God, set me on high. I will praise the name of God with a song. I will magnify him with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than an ox or bull with horns and hoofs. Let the oppressed see it and be glad. You that seek God, let your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the need and does not despise his own that are in wrongs. Let heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves therein. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. His servants shall dwell there and possess it. The children of his servants shall inherit it. 
and those who love his name shall dwell in it. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let them be turned back and brought to dishonor who desire my hurt. Let them be appalled because of their shame who say, Aha, aha. May all who seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. May those who love thy salvation say evermore, God is great. But I am poor in need. Hasten to me, O God. Thou art my help and my redeemer. O Lord, do not tarry. Incline thy ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am godly. Save thy servant who trusts in thee. Thou art my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to thee do I cry all the day. Gladden the soul of thy servant, for to thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on thee. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Hearken to my cry of supplication. In the day of my trouble I call to thee, for thou wilt answer me. There is none like thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like thine. All the nations thou hast made shall come and bow down before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great, and doest wondrous things, thou alone art God. Teach me thy way, O Lord, that I may walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I give thanks, thanks to thee, O Lord, my God, with my whole heart, and will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy steadfast love toward me. Thou hast delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. O God, insolent men have risen up against me. A band of ruthless men seek my life. They do not set me before them. But thou, Lord, art a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me, take pity on me. Give thy strength to thy servant, save the son of thy handmaid. Show me a sign of thy favor, that those who hate me may see it and be put to shame, because thou, O Lord, hast helped me and comforted me. Show me a sign of thy favor, that those who hate me may see it and be put to shame, because thou, O Lord, hast helped me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
who before me delivered you from affliction, and how have you now rewarded me? By returning evil for good, for the pillar of fire you nail me to the cross, for the cloud you dig me a grave, instead of manna you bring me gall, instead of water you give me vinegar to drink, henceforth I shall call the Gentiles, and they will glorify me with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.
him in honor of the prophecy in tone six, the fool says in his heart there is no God. not neglecting to meet together, 
as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. For if we sin deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful prospect of judgment and a fury of fire which will consume the adversaries. A man who has violated the law of Moses dies without mercy at the testimony of two or three witnesses. How much worse punishment do you think will be deserved by the man who has spurned the Son of God and profaned the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified and who has outraged the spirit of grace? For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. That we may be accounted worthy to listen to the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus, the soldiers took his garments and made four parts, one for each soldier, soldier, also his tunic, but the tunic was without seam, woven from top to bottom, so they said to one another, let us not tear it, but cast lots for it, to see whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the scripture, they parted my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. So the soldiers did this, but standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A bowl full of vinegar stood there, so they put a sponge full of the vinegar on hyssop, and they held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head, and he gave up the spirit. Since it was the day of preparation, in order to prevent the bodies from remaining on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high day, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken, and that they might be taken away. So the soldiers came, and they broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus, and they saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water, he who saw it has borne witness, and his witness is true, and he knows that in truth that you also may believe. For these things took place, that the scripture might be fulfilled, not a bone of him shall be broken. And again another scripture says, They shall look upon him whom they have pierced. Thank you. 
Holy God, who may mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, who may mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever. And unto ages of ages.
choir of angels and archangels with all the hosts of heaven sing, so I praise this crying, holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, the light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made. Who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified and spoke by the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge in baptism for the remission of sins, and look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Lose your mint and pardon, O God, our sins, both voluntary and involuntary, in thought, word, or deed, in knowledge, or in ignorance, committed by day or by night, of the mind or of the intention. Forgive them all, for thou art good and lovest mankind. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us all sing the praises of him who was crucified for us. For Mary said, when she beheld him upon the tree, Though thou dost endure the cross, thou art my Son and God. Lord of mercy, 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 O most holy Trinity. Might, one in essence, kingdom undivided, the cause of all good. Have mercy even on me, a sinner. Confirm and instruct my heart, and take away from me every defilement. Enlighten my mind, that I may ever glorify, praise, and adore thee, saying, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and Mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loves mankind. 